Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Hearts of Rome 4 as we are playing as Great Britain. So, if you guys recall, last episode, the Spanish declared war on us, and we weren't quite ready for that, so we're invading them with uh, just these really cruddy defensive troops. I think we have one full size division across all our borders, but we've got more troops on their way over there, and thus far, even with these uh, cruddy troops, we've been doing okay. Uh, we also started the invasion of India, which hopefully will be completing this war, this episode. Before we continue these invasions, we do need to discuss two things. So first of all, if you guys recall last episode, I was wondering why we couldn't do the decision to put our wife, Wall Simpson, on the throne of America here. And the reason why, uh, just based on what a viewer told me, is it's because we didn't get the Unite the Anglosphere. Remember, we were trying to get that. But then we defeated the United States, and uh, thus this is no longer an option. You see that they have to exist. Uh, the United States has to exist, and they have to not be in a faction. So simply releasing them would not be enough. You know, if we released them, we'd have to release them as an, a non-puppet and then force them out of the faction. So unfortunately, that's not going to be an option, guys. Uh, it's, it's a bummer. And it's a real shame, because I would have liked to, to do that. And, and we were almost done, I think, with that focus. I don't think we had that much longer. Uh, to get it, so it's, it's a real shame we didn't get it completed. Uh, if I had known that that's how that would have went down, uh, I would have uh, waited to to finish the war with the Americans. The second thing is, I wanted to ask you guys how you feel about me using the consul to give this territory back to Russia, just to make it look better. Because again, it looks really strange like this, and I didn't intend to uh, make it look like this, but I didn't know that uh, the peace treaty was going to go the way it did go. So I think it'll look a lot better if Russia was given this territory. I don't know exactly where we'd do it. Kind of depends on, on how it looks. Somewhere like, maybe like this, or maybe something like that, or I don't know. Whatever uh, looks best. Uh, go ahead and use the console to give all this territory to them. We've already used the console in the series, but that was to fix uh, some mistakes in, in a peace treaty. Uh, but I guess this was a mistake as well. You could qualify it as, as one. So I want to know how you guys feel about me giving that back to the Russians. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on this war here initially. Cause I think we already have all orders given to the uh, the other troops in India. All right, so they're pushing towards Cordoba. That's fine. Uh, these guys here are moving towards this province to cut that unit off. We're going to get some more troops going over there soon. Uh, these guys will go over there. Uh, these two here, though, make sure they go over to this front. All right, so we got this guy attacking there. So I guess he'll attack right here then. And remember, they're pushing us back here. We got more troops heading over there now. Uh, let's just double check on that. Yeah, they're heading over there. Should be there hopefully soon. Don't take too much territory. It's kind of irrelevant though, because we really just have to keep them from getting down to this port. Uh, because once we take this province here, they'll be cut off from supply. They're already taking attrition from what I see. All right, so let's go ahead and dip over to, what's the army in Baden, India? The Green Army? Ooh, that's the green army over here. So let's go ahead and dip over here and start pushing forward into these uh, provinces here. All right, so this guy's going that way. That's fine. We're attempting to wipe these troops out over here while he's advancing over this way. All right, excellent. We're also moving over here. Let's go ahead and get these troops advancing. And he can go over this way, make sure that... Oh, well, I guess it's going to take him a little while to get over there. Let's put him here then and then have this guy go this way. All right, so these guys should be there soon. Uh, they are facing a little bit of resistance. Just one unit, though, who's uh, pretty weak. He must have just uh, took the railway over there. Because, yeah, he's uh, got no organization. So it should be fairly easy to advance there. We've won all of these battles over here. Excellent. So let's go ahead and dip on back over to Spain and see how things are going. All right, so we did wipe out the troops that were defending Barcelona. Could maybe get over here. Let's just take a look. 19 hours compared to 17 hours and 18 hours. So yeah, we would get there first, and that's across a river. So let's take advantage of that. We're defending here. Um, let's move another unit over there because I'd like to try and get across this river here if we can. All right, so looking pretty solid there. Uh, these guys are now cut off, so let's get them destroyed. Or try to get them destroyed anyway. Uh, we need to... Damn it, that sucks. Alright, so I was going to have this guy. I guess we'll have him do this way. Yeah, he, he took the rails. I hate that, that they do that. 
So he took the rails and then lost all his organization because I was going to have him help out with that attack because I didn't think that one division would be able to do it on its own. We did sink a submarine there. And maybe something else here. Convoy. Okay. Let's go and let them continue advancing there. And let's see what we can do over here. So one unit is cut off there. Let's go and get him destroyed. And we'll be advancing towards Bombay. Uh, over here. Let's go and take this territory. Let's go and attack right there and right here. Hopefully they can do it on their uh, own, just these two divisions. He's attacking across a river, but he hasn't fought these two yet that are retreating over there. Let's have... Let's see how we want to do this. So he's going that way. Let's have this guy come over here. Grab that territory and get those units surrounded. Let's go and take a look at the situation over here at Calcutta. Uh, so yeah, we're going to advance here. And over here. And for whatever reason, these divisions decided to leave. Not entirely sure why that is. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, but they're attempting to leave here. We do have to give them offensive line, by the way. Let's go and fix that. Still attempting to attack. Looks like somebody else might have joined up there. Yep, but it's another uh, really weak division. So it shouldn't be any issue getting him defeated. Uh, let's go and advance over here now. I wonder if we can defeat this division here. No. Remember, these are these cruddy divisions, though. The only way we're really getting any wins here is by... Uh, oh, where's this guy going? I don't know why they do that. Yeah, why not go on this front? Go all the way around here. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just silly. Uh, so they decided to attack here. Well, that's interesting. We're winning the defense there, and it looks like we should be able to defeat that division there on our on our own. Uh, we also have more troops coming over here too. Let's take one of them, put him over here, and then he can go. Yeah, onto this front is is fine. Uh, more troops arriving. Uh, let's take a look at the situation down here. We need to grab that port, and then get this guy going over here. All right, excellent. And he might even be able to get over there before him. Probably not. Two days and 14 hours. And yeah, we actually will get the reform. Also sunk some convoys over here. These are troop convoys, by the way. I don't know if they're coming or going, but we'll take it. They don't have a ton of division, so every uh, division they lose at sea is, is pretty big for them. So it looks like they did get... Oh no, they didn't get there yet. We're almost there. We just need to win this defense, but yeah, now they... Uh, that's unfortunate. We'll have to stop this attack. Although it did look like we might have won that. All right, we just need more troops over here, frankly. Well, they're on their way. We have our allies here as well. Uh, we took Cordoba, uh, but we're in a pretty vulnerable position over here. We did wipe out this division as well, so that's good. Let's go ahead and grab that province there, or uh, defend that province there. I yeah, just need more troops over here in Spain to get this, this done. Uh, as far as factories go, I mean, I think we already said we're not going to assign those anymore. I just don't uh, feel like it. It's not necessary. It's pretty relevant at this point. It's like another Spanish submarine there. But yeah, at this point, we're we're doing pretty good on everything, equipment-wise. You know, you want to keep stuff building, but it's just not as important as it once was. And so let's go ahead and go here. We need to get a win somewhere. Maybe right here. Cut all these troops off. Yeah, that's a lot of troops. We'll get cut off here. Uh, so, going after Bombay. Excellent. Uh, somebody needs to grab this territory here. And these guys... Let's see how we want to do this. I feel like they could just go into this front. Well, this is kind of messed up, isn't it? Okay, so we need to fix this. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that. And then just stretch this out here. There you go. Beautiful. Alright, so they are trying to push forward here, so that's not good. So let's get these guys moving over there now. Since we don't need them there. And make sure they go over that way as well. See who's all trying to go over here. Let's put this guy. I guess we'll put him over here. And yeah, one of these is going to try and take off here. So we did sink this province here. This is the closest to to the capital, and uh, we're going to try and and get over there as quickly as we can with the the tank. Though we're not going to fight. Actually, let's do this different. Then have him go up that way. Alright, excellent. So he'll do that. Just race towards the capital while these other divisions will be attacking this way. We'll have them go across the river since they're marines. He'll go that way. He'll go that way. And this guy here is going to attempt to cut all this off and then, and then uh, get it taken care of for us. Alright, so looking pretty good there. 
Still pushing forward here. Yeah, everything looks pretty solid in this area. And he's moving up that way. Excellent. So this guy, let's make sure that he stays here. And then we'll wipe these guys out as soon as he gets there. Um, I guess we'll just... We'll just have to wait here until he gets a little bit more organization, I suppose. Or just leave him here. And then we'll attempt to attack with these guys. He should be able to get there first. Yeah, excellent. All right, so now we can go ahead and attack them. Put both of these units here. We've already got one of them completely wiped out. Excellent. And then we did win here as well, so that's going to cut off these troops here. So let's just go ahead and start attacking in these areas now. Since we know we've already got them uh, cut off. Now they are attempting to win there, so that's a problem. Uh, let's have this guy go over here instead of whatever he was going to do. Yeah, we should get there. All right, excellent. All right, moving uh, pretty rapidly over here. Uh, of course, those tanks are, are pushing forward. Uh, and I'm just trying to get them to capitulate. So the quicker we can do that, the better. Uh, so these guys here will take all this over for us. And then he'll take over this territory here. So we are getting across that river successfully without too many issues. And it uh, looks like we've done a bunch of battles over here against their fleets. Yeah, sunk their submarines, their cowboys. They still have some surface ships out there. Uh, these guys here can go in advance. And it looks like we did get that unit there in time to stop them. Excellent. Uh, so let's go and see what we can do over here. Looks like this unit here just got cut off, uh, cut off so that's a negative. So what we're going to do is attempt to reconnect him. He does have the local supply there, so he's not actually short on supplies. But this is just killing me, man. It's just killing me. They just keep pulling out. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make any damn sense. Like, why? The divisions over here are getting the port to come over this way, and the divisions over here are getting the port to come over to this one, and they're the same exact divisions. It just doesn't make any sense. So that's why the AI is so bad in this game, though, is because it's stuff like that. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's a bummer you got to spend so much time fixing everything the AI does. I really hope that uh, one of these days we'll get a patch dedicated to, to fixing the issues with the AI. That'd be really nice. I don't hold up high hopes for it. Yeah, it would be really nice if they did. Just kind of like focus on it for a little bit. Fixing the issues that the AI has. Um, let's have this guy... I guess we'll attack here. Just need to help out on this defense. Let's go and take a look at the situation over here. We can go and advance this way. Push forward across all this territory here. We're going to attack those guys just to keep them locked down. Tanks moving forward. They'll be there soon. Uh, I don't know how much longer they'll be able to uh, to fight once we have. I think that guy's already gone this way, so we'll go here. Uh, but yeah, once we've taken the capital. We'll see how close they are towards capitulation. Probably fairly close. We've taken a lot of their victory points. And then in Spain here, of course, the problem is just that, uh, you know, we don't have the, the troop numbers. Ready to move. They should be here soon. You can see that purple division on its way. Probably some more coming up over here. Yeah, you can see them heading over here now. So let's go here. Let's keep on pushing forward. Yeah, some territory might get left undefended, but that's fine. And, you know, we got a lot of allied divisions coming over here as well, so that's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, let's see what we can... Let's just go back here, actually. I mean, we could sweep through here. This is not core territory, though, so it's not going to help us uh, capitulate them. This is all Portugal, obviously. So, yeah, it doesn't really seem worth it to go that way. We'll go here and then attempt to attack right there. Uh, we did win here as well, so that's going to cut that division off. I mean, we're really doing pretty good, considering the, the low number of troops. It's not bad at all. Now, the invasion of Australia, we don't even have all the troops here yet. We're still waiting for them uh, to get over there. It's going to take time, of course. Now, over here, let's go and attack that way. And when this guy's done, we'll have him go over here. Try and cut these guys off if we can. And you can see that they're trying to get out of that hole there, though. We'll just have him protect Bombay for now. Uh, so this is done, and he's already attacking here, so any unit that's assigned there will have him come over to this front. And 
Let's go ahead and attack over this way as well. Although that's obviously not gonna be well, let me take that back. I was say it wasn't gonna be successful, but it looks like that is a uh, a green attack there. Excellent. All right, so let me see where everybody's going over here, so this guy can stay on this front. And looks like we have both of these guys over here, so let's go ahead and have him come over here. But yeah, you see with these guys, they're going to the closest front, as they should. And we have almost taken the capital, uh, so we'll just wait a second till we get that. All right, so these guys are going over here. Who's presently moving over there? We need to keep them here. Just continue advancing the front here. Uh, we'll attack that unit. All right, so the capital is ours. Let's just take a look and see how close they are towards capitulation here. Uh, we're at 80%, 80% towards capitulation, so close, but just not there yet. Uh, that's a one pointer, not worth a lot. Uh, that's only a one pointer as well. It looks like, uh, well, that's only a one pointer too. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take over provinces, essentially to get them to capitulate, because there's really no high point, uh, victory points anymore. So yeah, it's just trying to get uh, any provinces we can. So this tank here, we're just gonna have him, well, cutting off that unit would be helpful. So let's have him go this way, like so. And then he could sweep down here and grab that. Remember, he's a light tank, so very, very fast. Uh, this guy's gonna stay over here, get across the river. So just need to get all these troops onto the front. That's gonna take some time. And this should be wrapped up here soon as well. And I don't think there's any victory points over here either. So yeah, it's just a matter of taking any province now. Anything will help us towards capitulating them. I do actually have some units over here to stop us. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we can just move with impunity. Yeah, they did get a couple guys over there to to stop our movement. We did sink two more Spanish submarines here. Let's go ahead and, well, we'll wait till that guy leaves. We'll go ahead and take this uh, victory point. I'm gonna push forward there. Uh, still not really able to do much over here due to our uh, lack of divisions. But there are undefended provinces here, so might as well advance into them. Uh, and then also, it looks like we've gotten this unit cut off successfully, so we're gonna go ahead and get him destroyed now. Oops, trying to attack him there. Uh, so we're gonna get him destroyed. And let's just attack this guy. We have reconnected the unit in Cordoba, excellent. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward then. As we do have uh, more units arriving to help us out. And more units coming over here as well. This guy's taking so damn long, let's just put him onto this front. I don't think we'll need any more than what we currently have here. Uh, that guy's been beat back again. He's just waiting for his reinforcements. We'll likely take that one province, but again, it's fairly irrelevant. All right, so advancing all across here. Let's go and take this location next. And yeah, they're just not able to, uh, to stop us uh, for some reason. I, I don't know why they're not uh, being more aggressive here because they had an opportunity to push us back. There was a point when they were uh, certainly more stronger than we were. Yeah, they didn't take advantage of that that opportunity they had to to advance. All right, so let's go and dip over back to India. Also, want to make sure that like we don't have any divisions that are you know taking off to the port or whatever to go super far away. Uh, we just got this guy over here. All right, uh, we were waiting for that. I don't know if we'll bring him over here. We might. I guess we can bring him over here for future invasions. All right, excellent. So we will get that unit cut off there. Let's go and advance over here. Uh, we will attack that location as well. Uh, let's go and cut this off here, and then I guess from there you can just start sweeping up and taking this territory over. Because again, at this point, it's just about uh, getting provinces, so let's go and advance over here. After he's done with that, we'll have him uh, come take care of all this. This guy's going to go this way up along the rails. And they are going back after the capital, so we're gonna have to go back this way. Yeah, we left left uh, Delhi open, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to take it back. Maybe bring some more units over there to help us out. And also sinking Indian convoys through here. I don't think those are troop convoys, though. I would, I would assume they're supplies, resources, or whatever that they're trading for. 
Uh, over here, we might be able to try and get somebody cut off. Yeah, potentially. Uh, we'll get that guy cut off as well. And first purple division has arrived here, but he's not moving up to the front for whatever reason. I'm gonna have to force him to it. I think it's probably supply or something. He's concerned about. Uh, we'll go and tack over this way. Just kind of slowly cut off troops and get them wiped out. No purple divisions up here yet. Those are the first ones that should get to the front. All right, so this unit here is now cut off. Uh, let's attack here and have him cover this way. And hopefully he'll be able to get it done on his own. We'll see. We might have to give him some support there. It looks like these divisions just got cut off, unfortunately. Let's see if we can't get him reconnected somehow. Uh, looks like the Germans might actually help us with that. But yeah, we did get another victory point of theirs. And just slowly advancing the front here. Now they actually have some tanks here. Interesting. Uh, we got the New Zealand Cypher. Is there anything left to get? We got uh, India, Australia, New Zealand, and that's pretty much all. Well, I guess we can go after Saudi Arabia. Could have gone after Spain, but I think they'll be done for by the time uh, we get that. With Saudi Arabia, we don't have the troops up on the borders yet. Just got to give us some time to get those units over there. Last time I checked, they were still in the United States. So, yeah, it's going to take them a little while to get over there. Uh, let's just have this guy advance over here now. All right, so these guys can just come over here. Let's go and take this location. All right, we'll have both these guys go over there, just in case somebody gets attacked. And that's going to mess me up every time I see that, that we uh, have military factories. Can we attack here and win yet? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. And yeah, we haven't been able to figure out how to reconnect this yet. I thought the German division would do it, but actually he will not. What if we just attacked across here then? Yeah, that would be a victory. And need to get uh, somebody over there to cut off these divisions here. It doesn't look like we're going to defeat that division. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some support from our allies there. So it looks like we should be able to win now. Uh, let's go ahead and sweep over towards this location, cut off all the divisions here. Once we get a win here anyways. Which we should have with that attack right there. Gonna take a look, see what we done here. Sunk three more of their cowboys. And we need to send this guy into here. Alright, so let's just go and attack him. We should be able to get a win now. They don't have supply here, so they're in trouble. And over here, let's have this guy attack there. Let's keep this unit here. We'll have him attack over that way. Let's go and just advance. Uh, here we cut off another unit. I guess we need somebody to come make sure that they remain cut off. Should get there in time. Alright, looking pretty good there. Uh, let's go and advance down here. Actually, you know what? Let's go and advance towards Valencia. That unit there is almost destroyed. And then this guy can advance over here. Yeah, just push forward, guys. And then we have him attack across the river there. Try and get that unit destroyed. All right, we did get these guys reconnected. Excellent, let's go and attack there. Just kind of help out on that defense. Yeah, they're coming over here, about to get Burgos again. All right, well, that's fine. All right, so advancing there. We're having success with most of our attacks at this point, which is very, very good. And he's already gone that way, so he'll come over here. Let's go and dip on back over to India, see how things are going. We did finish this up, excellent. Uh, so on this situation here, Go and tank there. We'll try and get that unit cut off. Uh, we got a tank here, so let's go ahead and use it. Push forward there. And I'm going to push forward Hold over in. here as well. Move out. Yeah, and just get this territory taken over. And Listen they up. did take that capital again, so we're going to go ahead and try and uh, stymie them as these Ready. units are moving up that way. Move out. All right, looking pretty solid. Uh, make sure these guys are going up that way. Looks like they were. And we did get this unit cut off here, so it's going to get him destroyed. While we advance up along the coast here. And they are attempting to cause us some trouble here, so that's not good. I don't know who else is assigned here. We need to have this guy go over here. 
All right, so we only need one unit to take that out, I think. I believe that one unit should be good enough to do that. Yeah, just trying to keep these guys locked down, but I don't know that we're going to get anybody over there in time. I mean, I suppose you have this guy here. Yeah, there's a chance that we might get cut off here. Let me just see how long until they get over there. One day in three hours, you could probably get there first. Maybe not. Hmm. Could go this way instead, but yeah, no matter what, it's going to be the three days. So what you might want to do is just wait until they're almost there. And then we'll do this attack. Alright, so now let's go on attack and see if uh, we'll have these guys there in time. Looks like we should. Uh, and then these guys are getting there as well. So we'll see how that attack works out. Uh, getting that territory taken out. Uh, this guy doesn't look like he's going to have any success there, so we'll just go this way instead. Or, you know what, let's just go here. Another unit attempting to leave, unfortunately. Let's go that way. We'll advance over here. Actually, you know what? Let's advance that way and have him advance over here. Again, just really trying to push these provinces forward here. I mean, one thing I didn't think about is air support in these invasion areas. You know, we have the air support here, uh, but really not much over in this area. Uh, so let's see if there's any air bases close by. Not yet. Yeah, we need to take some. These guys might be able to kind of cover that, but yeah, I think we just need to get some more air bases over here. Okay. So come back there in a minute and see if we got one. We got a light cruiser sunk. Excellent. Uh, let's go and take this territory here. And let's see what we can do. We're already attacking there and it's almost done. This is clearly not going to work. Let's go over here. Somebody's already going that way. Uh, let's go and advance down here. Just going after these victory points. Anywhere else we could easily cut somebody off, perhaps? Maybe right there. That's a possible, a possible way. Try and cut this tank unit off. Doesn't really have a lot of tanks. So he's not that big of a threat, but uh, yeah, might as well wipe him out. He does still have his speed. Well, I guess he might have his speed. We don't really know how he's designed. Let's go ahead and help out in that attack. And so let's go towards Madrid now. Wish we had some tanks over here to to speed this process up, but not really any tanks on the, the Spanish front. I don't even know if we have any arriving either. I can just considering everything, we're, we're not doing too bad here, guys. Now over here, let's make sure these troops advance all the way down here. Now, these guys are never going to get there in time. Wow. Yeah, I, I think the problem now is that they're not even using the railroad. Yeah. Uh, because they were going to a province that had been taken from us. So yeah, just kind of slowing everything down. Alright, so let's go and see over here what we can do. Uh, we'll attack there, cut off that division. Uh, this guy here is going to keep on pushing forward that way. And... This guy's trying to leave here, so we just want him to stay. And go that way. Instead of whatever he was going to do. Try to cut some units off over there. Uh, this guy's cut off, so let's go and get him destroyed now. And we'll advance over here as well. And let's go ahead and stop this unit. Let's go ahead and go over that way. Looks like we've had success over here. Yeah, looking pretty solid. Uh, the tank unit's cut off, but now the capital's open again. And it looks like we should be able to get them reconnected here soon. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy go over here. And that's just about done as well. All right, so yeah, success on both of our uh, fronts over here, the Spanish and the Indian one. And that guy's already went in there, uh, so let's go this way. Maybe even try and get across that river. Yeah, there might be somebody there to stop us. We'll see. And we won there as well, so that'll cut off that unit. All right, excellent. And hopefully nobody's there defending that. There might be because it's a uh, port province. So there's a chance somebody might be there. So let's just go ahead and start advancing here. These units are cut off, so we just need to get them defeated. Almost towards the capital of Madrid. And nobody to really stop us. They're kind of letting us do whatever we want here, really. I guess they can go towards Toledo. That's worth some points as well. Uh, it's only worth one. I was thinking it was worth a bit more, like five points or something like that. It's not the case, though. The former capital, you think, be worth a little bit more. 
Uh, we did get these tanks cut off. Let's go and get them destroyed now. Same thing with this infantry unit here. And let's go towards Granada. All right, so he's advancing towards Toledo while he's going towards Madrid. And if we get these ports over here, well, I guess there's another one there. Never mind. I was going to say we'd have all these units cut off in this area, but that would not be the case. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Indian situation. All right, so we did reconnect here. Excellent. Uh, and I already have a unit going that way. Uh, so with this guy here, let's just have him go through these provinces here. All right, so winning there. Nobody's protecting Bombay. That's an issue. Yeah, we don't want them to uh, take that back from us. Uh, he can go this way. He's already going there, so we'll have him attack up that way. And then this tank is taking care of all this territory for us. Excellent. All right, so these guys are attempting to cut off those troops. He's going here, and when he's done, we'll have him go that way. Er. Well, we might want to adjust that. We'll wait, though. It's fine for now. Did we take any air bases over here just yet? So we need that one there. So let's just go and attack there to stop them. He can go over here. Get that unit there cut off. Uh, with the tank done here, let's go ahead and have him... Let's go up along the coast here, I think. Alright, let's go and attack there. Somebody needs to take this province here. Yeah, I think that's where they're going to end up retreating to. I suppose that's fine. They should be pretty weak and easy to defeat. Let's go and attack right there. Maybe we'll get some units cut off over here. And... Looks like we don't have the capital yet. Just so going to get that grabbed up. And then these two units should be meeting somewhere in the middle here. Actually have them go this way. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get that unit there cut off. I mean, he's cut off already, but you know, completely surrounded so we can we can destroy him. Uh, this guy here is going to take... Yeah, we'll have him take these two provinces here. And then let's go ahead and go... We'll just have him attack right there for now. We'll see where that unit goes. Kind of base where we go next on where he uh, he goes to. All right, so he can go this way. And still trying to get those guys actually cut off there. Uh, over here, let's just go and attack across the river there now. And have him advance over this way. So once we get the capital, we'll see where they're at. Uh, or retake the capital, I should say, since we've already taken it once before. But yeah, we'll see where we're at. And let's have him go this way. And he'll just go to this province or whatever. And then this guy here will take that location. Alright, so tank's moving up that way. Let's go and have uh, these units help out. He can attack over here and wipe that unit out. And support there. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and return to Spain. See how things are going here. Uh, we have a lot more purple army troops from what I'm seeing, uh, particularly on this front. So we can go ahead and make use of those to wipe out those three divisions here. And go ahead and advance over this way. Let's go and attack there as well. Uh, we did take Madrid. We don't have Toledo just yet. But with Madrid, we can take a look and see how close they are towards capitulating. Let's go and attack over this way. Get these troops cut off. Yeah, looking pretty good there. Let's have this guy go this way. Uh, we are technically leaving Madrid undefended. So I guess that's one negative there. Could take the war bonds here. Yeah, why not? We'll do the war bonds. Help us build up those those uh, ports and stuff we're working on for the, the invasions. Uh, how close are we to being able to invade over here? All right, we're, we're slowly getting all the troops over here. They're not here just yet. Hopefully soon. Yeah, those guys aren't there either. You don't need to have all the invasions ready, though, to start them. All right, so he's going over this way. Just make sure everybody's got orders Boy. over here. Yeah, look good to go. Uh, we can bring the guns over here, I suppose. They can help us out. But mainly, you're going to use them for the invasions over here. I wonder if those guys even got any troops. They might not. 
All right, so just need to get all this territory here taken out. Uh, who gets there first? Looks like it'll be that guy, so we'll move him over here. He's already advancing up this way. Excellent. Make sure everybody's got orders all across here. Uh, we did uh, win the battle for the capital, but we haven't moved over there just yet. So I'm attack here now. And then we'll have him go this way. All right, looking pretty solid here. Uh, they are pushing forward, taking some of these provinces. You know, we're just not uh, defending this enough. We'll have more divisions over there soon, though. Uh, this is all messed up, though. We have multiple fronts here, so that's a problem. We did get another operative. Interesting. You know, I don't even know what our operatives are doing after the... Uh, yeah, we should have used them over here. Uh, we'll go and hire somebody. Yeah, there hasn't uh, been as much need. But yeah, we could have been using them here. Uh, we'll get this commando. Why not? But yeah, we could have been... Uh, Using them here in India. I just completely forgot about the operatives. So we'll use them against uh, the Australians for sure. And maybe put one over here as well. Uh, so I don't even care who's going at this point. We'll just move whoever over here. And where is she at? Uh, she's at our capital. Uh, so yeah, we'll get all this uh, area done. Just get some, some bonuses against the Australians. And just maybe against Spain as well. Not that we'll build up much before they are uh, ready to capitulate. And then, yeah, we'll do Saudi Arabia, too. Just some intel bonuses. And we could do some things to get them to capitulate quicker. Uh, but as you guys can see, these wars aren't all that difficult. It's fairly easy getting these guys defeated. Yeah, I mean, over here, we have uh, been we were vastly outnumbered for much of the conflict and, and still had a large amount of success. I'd say at this point we outnumbered them though. Yeah, they're not doing so good. So it's just a matter of time before we'll have them defeated. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here. It looks like we are done. Excellent. Uh, let's go and take all these troops. And we don't really need them uh, over here. In fact, I'm more worried about supply if we did bring them over there. So instead, let's just uh, do something else with them. Let's see what we might want to do with them. There's not really any other fronts. I'm not going to attack Liberia because I don't care enough uh, to get all of Africa conquered because we can't. The Germans have territory, so, you know, if there's one little patch here, what's the difference between having, you know, two patches or three patches that we don't own? See, so I don't really see any point on uh, attacking them and taking the time to get the war goal and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll do Saudi Arabia. But, yeah, with these guys here, it's, it's basically just get them out of the way, I think. Uh, so, probably just want to create, like, a, a front against Switzerland for now. And then we'll eventually do something else with them once we finish in Spain. Give them like a garrison order or something. I don't know. Let's just get rid of them, essentially. Get them going somewhere. Alright, so over here, again, we don't really need to advance into Portugal. That's not going to help us out much. So we won't. Uh, we'll take that territory. Actually, you know, we should have done this differently. Let's see if I can't get them to obey my order. Cause, oh, they just uh, surrendered. All right, so Spain is done. Uh, since each of these countries... Oh, okay. I was going to say, they're not in a faction. But it looks like uh, they're still going to be uh, the same peace treaty. That's interesting. So we have the majority of the points here. Uh, hopefully nobody else can do anything. So we'll see how much we can do. I want to finish up Africa. So let's take all the Spanish territories here. Uh, they're not worth very much points either. And then we, we know we want all of India annexed, so let's go ahead and do so. Um, you know, I can try and see if we can just do all of, it, of India here. Take all states. Yeah, it looks like we have enough points to do all that. Excellent. So we'll take all of India. Uh, as far as the rest of the territory over here, we can try and get that. It looks like we can't. That's interesting. Maybe because we never fought them or something? Untouched by any of the winners, no demands can be made against them. Yeah, so we can't can't get their territory, unfortunately. All right. Uh, well, with Spain, I don't think we're gonna directly annex them. We could, I guess, it'd look nice doing so because then it would combine our territories here. I suppose we could annex all of Spain. I mean, that would be an option. You can also just subject them, I suppose. Let me see what all we can do. We can also uh, break them apart if we wanted to as well. That'd be an option too. Yeah, I would say like 
let's just annex all of Spain, like all their territory. Oops. So let's go to take all states, and it will not let us do that. All right. So what we'd want to do is like just pull back on Portuguese territory. So we'll pull back on these two, and that'll be enough for us to end our turn here. Did the Germans do anything? They want to puppet Spanish Morocco. We've already annexed them, though, so... I don't know. It says here that they still had something. Oh, we didn't take that. All right, so the Germans got another little patch here. I just didn't see it. All right, well, it's fine. And we don't have any points here, really? And is there something else out there? Oh, okay, you can satellite Portugal. All right, there we go. Excellent. So, peace treaty is done. We annexed Spain just because I think it looks nice that way. And uh, the Germans got another little patch. You can barely see it on here, though. It doesn't make any difference. We don't have all the continent anyways. Uh, India is done over here. So, what we need to do is prepare for this conflict here. We'll do uh, Burma and Bangladesh. We'll, we'll just get, like, a... Uh, few troops going over here a few troops going over here because yeah we don't need let me see how we want to do this so how many marine units do we have we currently have three marine units all right so let's take one of those put them over here on this front uh, as far as tanks go we currently have two tanks I guess we could do the war separately yeah it doesn't really matter though uh, both of them should be fairly easy to defeat. And we'll have this guy go over here. Or it doesn't look like he moved over there just yet. We're going to have to wait. Oh, it doesn't connect. Not yet. So we don't want to go... Can we not get... We can't get there yet. So we'll just go here for now. And then we can uh, wrap up around this way eventually. We need more troops coming over to this front. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces that need to uh, be defended. So let's go ahead and take some troops and move them over there. We'll get... Remember, we're just looking for the regular infantry here. Let me get another division going over there. And then we'll take a look and see how many divisions we currently have assigned here. We have eight. with 16 going over here. There's a lot of provinces that got to be defended. Uh, maybe take just one more of these. And then bring them over here. All right, excellent. Uh, we also have that invasion of Rangoon. That should all go pretty smoothly. And how are we doing on getting these guys over here? They're not here yet. Okay. How about over here? Still not there either. Uh, with these troops, you know, we brought this whole purple army over here. Over here, we also brought the blue army, which is these tanks here. I guess you'd put the blue army over here. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do this. Uh, now, let me just see if we have any. We do not have any tanks over here. Okay, so yeah, let's just go ahead and bring the blue army over there. And I am a little worried about supply if I put all these guys over there. So this is what we're going to do. Let's split these up. Put them in like a separate army over here. And uh, just have them garrison Spain, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We don't really need these troops anymore. Uh, so let's do area defense. Just have them do all the Spanish territory here. Portuguese Spanish territory. And I have them spread out or whatever across the, the peninsula. They don't need a general or anything. All right, excellent. Of course, that was not all necessary, but... Uh, so, yeah, we'll have them do that. And then these uh, six tank units are going to come over here and help us towards getting them to capitulate. Uh, so, probably just have them right here is what I'm thinking. Go after the capital or whatever. All right, excellent. So we'll get those guys moving that way. We need to say we're not interested in doing the military parade here. I'm not going to mess with dockyards or factories or anything like that. Let's get planning bonuses. All right, so this is the two next conflicts. We already have a war go over here, so just got to get on the front, essentially. Uh, and then Saudi Arabia, we, we need troops over there before we uh, want to try and get the war goal there. Now, these guys should be here soon. Uh, let's go and speed this up, since we're just waiting for units to, to move here at this point. Should hopefully get control of these rails soon, and then we'll uh, move over here, where they can provide the most bonuses for us. 
I'm not sure how long it's going to take for us to get control of these rails. It's like about four days there. These ones have already been gained. But yeah, there's no way to get over there just yet. And this is right here. This is the problem. Two days right there to get that. And this is also giving time for all those units uh, to get to the Australian invasions. Okay, so it's now opened up. Let's go ahead and move these guys over here now. And let me just take a look at how we're doing on getting these troops over here. So we got the first ones into that port. Uh, these guys are, I think, all over here now. Yeah, some of them just arrived. You can see the organization is still increasing. Is there anybody who needs any training or anything? Nope. They're good to go. Uh, what about on these fronts here? Anybody need training? Nope. Everybody's trained up. All right, excellent. Yeah, just a matter of waiting until they all get to their locations now. Let's go and speed that up to speed five then. And we will have to have one more episode, it seems, to finish up here. Again, I don't know about Pakistan, man. I mean, we could go after them. I guess we got spare troops if we wanted to. Yeah, I suppose we could take, what's the army I sent here? We could take this purple army and have them do the invasion of Pakistan. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't think there's anybody else sitting around right now. So we'd want one here. So we'll just take a few of these units. Not the tank though. And put them over here. Maybe like seven of them. Uh, this is a pretty wide front here. We don't need to be in those two though. And yeah, this is a pretty short one. So maybe take a couple more of them. Put them back over here. Just one of them actually. There we go. So 18 to 6 is fine. Uh, we'll let them train once they get over there. But yeah, it's, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because of the mountains. Never really like invading Pakistan. I uh, would get the recon company. Excellent. Uh, let's see what else there's still left for us to get. Uh, I suppose we can get maintenance companies. We can start working on the 1945 techs as well. That'd be an option. Uh, is there anything over here we haven't got that would actually be useful for us? Uh, not really. Not that we need at this point. Got all the ones here already. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot that we really need. I mean, we don't need anything, honestly. Yeah, we're already getting that one there. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and... Start working on the maintenance companies. All right, so all these troops are on their fronts. It's just a matter of uh, they get an organization up if they, if they need it. Uh, some of these are going to have supply issues, frankly, and I don't know, care enough to, to do anything about it. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and start the, the war here now. Uh, everybody looks good to go, and uh, we could probably start the war over here too. Let me just make sure there's nobody moving over there. No, nope, we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and just clear war on both of them at the same time. I did not call all of our allies in, so that was my mistake. We don't really need to either, though. So what we'd want to do... Uh, we can develop some oil fields. So that's one of the things I, I am going to continue doing. Not that we actually need oil. As you can see here, we're pretty good on that regard. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the conflict here and see... If we can call everybody in. All right, looks like they gotta respond to the, the previous order we already gave. Uh, the guys here are not here yet. Where are they? They're still moving. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, because they're doing some weird stuff. Of course they are. Of course they are. Yeah, all right, so that sucks. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna actually have them do the invasion though. I don't care, it's one unit, and one unit's good enough if they're not defending it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and have uh, I guess it's just this one army, right? Yeah, so we can just go ahead and have them go. Even if it's just the one division. Alright, so let's go ahead and push forward here into the undefended territory. Uh, we got a tank there, so let's go and attack that way. Uh, we'll attack over... Actually, we'll attack over here. And then have... This guy support that. Attack that way. Yeah, some weird situations over here, but that's okay see how we want to do this all right so let's go ahead and have him go across the river I'm gonna turn that down a notch and yeah just go ahead and sweep through here we'll 
We'll see how we're doing on all those attacks. And then have this guy support that. And this guy support this one. Barely went in there, but we are winning. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here and here. Yeah, both those look like they should be successful. Right, excellent. Alright, so hopefully this should be a easy conflict. We'll see. Uh, we couldn't win that one, though. Uh, can we get across here? Somebody's already attacking there, though. Alright, so let's bring another unit over there and see if we can attack here. The problem is the supply. That's what's causing us issues there. I'm gonna push forward here. We'll send this guy in as well. We'll have him attack over this way. And uh, some of that's causing problems too is the fact that they're moving troops around. Alright, so still trying to get that guy defeated. Uh, we don't have our planes over here either. Uh, we have those guys, but yeah, we could provide a lot more support here using this airbase. Although I say a lot more support, but I guess, yeah, that you wouldn't be able to provide a lot more. You could provide a little bit more support. And hopefully they'll move their guys out of here. And yeah, the invasion of Rangoon is not going to be successful, unfortunately. They have one unit there to stop us. They also have air uh, power over here. And we only sent one division, so not surprising. And Bangladesh joined the Confederate South American Nations. What? Who's that? Who owns that? Like, who's the faction leader? Okay, we're going to have to click on Bangladesh to, to find out. But I could just go over there and see that was not the case. Um, so that's Hanama. Okay, that's interesting. So that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure we have troops over here to defend the Panama Canal. I don't know if uh, we can supply this many. How many did I just send? Looks like we sent uh, five. Hopefully that'll be enough. We can only send more though if we need them. So I'll go ahead and protect that key port there in that canal. Uh, let's go and attack. Well, I guess we'll attack over this way. Oh, he's not going to win that. Alright. Um, yeah, having some, some problems over here. Watch this be the, the war that causes issues. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack over here. And just go in advance over this way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to be successful, so let's just go ahead and stop it. Uh, you know, I was hoping that one unit would be able to do the trick. We'll have to wait until they get the rest of the units over there. I didn't expect them not to be there, though, because they, they do this stupid thing now where they, they try and avoid, like, being in the water. They want to be in the water for as little as possible. So they basically will probably, like, they, they want to come here. They're coming from this way, so they'll get on that port and then go by land all the way down to this port, then go over here and then maybe hit that port and then go across to this port by land and then go up this way. I, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like Paradox is trying to make their game worse. And if that's their goal, then it's working. It seems like every time they make these changes, it's it, it's, it makes the game worse. Like... It's just I'm not entirely sure what they're doing with it. It wouldn't be the first time they've done that with one of their games before either, where they've you know made it worse. Uh, will this guy get out of there in time? Oh, he will, so we're going to have to attack him then. We'll attack with this guy here then. Let's go after the capital here. And, again, supply is an issue. Throughout this territory here. Not surprising, of course. Uh, let's go and attack across there. Trying to see if we can't cut these guys off up here. And we'll wait to do the invasion of Australia. We'll just do them all uh, one at a time so we can just really focus on them. So we'll just focus on this area here for now. Same thing with Saudi Arabia, although I bet we don't even have the troops over there yet. Yeah, they're just now arriving. And uh, same thing with Pakistan. So we'll just focus on these invasions one at a time. Let's have this guy attack over here to stop him from advancing there, because that would cut off this tank unit. Uh, that would not be good. Let's go and see if there's anything we can do over here. Uh, we'll go and take this location. We'll attack there, here, just attack everywhere across the front. Even if we're going to lose. Uh, let's go and wipe this unit out here. Or, or push him back over to here, I suppose, is what we'll actually be doing. Uh, this unit here, we're going to get him wiped out. They're attacking us there. We'll have to wait. 
And yeah, just waiting. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, if we could have hit him from behind here, this would have uh, gone so much smoother. But we'll get it done. It'll just be a little bit more challenging than it would have been. Uh, they did take a province from us there. Uh, what's the decision here? Uh, just war propaganda. Okay, so just let them know we don't need to be notified about that. And this guy can go in advance there. Just need to get their territory taken at this point. Alright, so keep on pushing forward over there. Uh, this guy here can grab that for us. Or actually, let's have him go this way. Have him attack there just to lock those units down. Though it looks like we will actually win that battle. Let's go over this way. We'll attack there and here. No, it's across the river, but just trying to finish up this defense here. He'll attack that way. And he'll attack that way. Alright, so looking pretty solid. Where's that railway gun? See if we can move any further forward. I guess we'll move over here. Get some support for that battle. And they are taking some of this territory that we grabbed, unfortunately. Kind of just hoped that they were uh, going to sit passively and not do anything, but they decided to actually fight. Alright, so this attack is not going to work, but we can have them... Oh, he's already going that way. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave it as is. What we'll do is have this guy come over here and help him out in that attack. Alright, so let's have... We'll have him go over this way. We already taken that location, so it's just going to be about getting that guy destroyed. Uh, this guy here, we'll just have him advance. You know what? We might not be able to win this without assistance here. Oops. So let's see. Try and get those units destroyed there. Let's go ahead and grab that province real quick. Go grab these as well. Alright, so having some difficulty over here. Because of the train and uh, probably supply issues as well. If I had to guess. I try a tank cross here with some support and see if that ends up working out. Should get a lot more troops over there once we finish this up though. Let's go and attack that guy, get him destroyed. Let's go and get across this river now. And there we go, Bangladesh just capitulated. Excellent. Uh, did Panama join the war yet? Looks like they did. Alright, uh, so they took over the Panama Canal. That's unfortunate. Ready to move. Uh, so let's go and take all of our troops here. And just get them moving over to here so we can quickly get them defeated. Uh, we need to see how we're going to do this. I guess we just take the whole army here. I don't know if this will exhaust supply properly. Yeah, it'd probably exhaust supply, but I'm going to do it anyway. Or you know what? We could take some of them and put them into a different uh, a different army. Just put them into, I don't know, what are these guys doing? Okay, that's the one that we have occupying all of Spain here. I don't really want them moving like that. Do we have any just straight up defensive armies? What's this one? Okay, so that's the one going over here. We don't actually want them over there. That's going to cause supply problems. Uh, so what we'll do is let's have them do an area defense of France. Just trying to get rid of units. Put them where they're not taking attrition. So this is probably the best way for us to do it, I think. So just have them occupy all this. And hopefully they're spread out enough they don't have supply problems. Attention. So what we'll do is take a couple of these units here. And then just put them into that army. So we get down to, I don't know, probably about eight divisions is what I'm thinking. Yes, sir. Yeah, probably about eight divisions. All right, so that'll leave the eight divisions to come over here to take out Panama, and hopefully that's enough without uh, causing too many supply issues. All right, so all of our troops should be moving over here. What we need to do is get them all on one front and get rid of this one here. All right, excellent. And these guys have arrived, so hopefully you should be able to do that invasion. All right, so now just waiting for all of our troops to get over here from the uh, the Bangladesh front. Because as you can see, there's a lot of uh, territory here that's just like completely undefended right now. Actually, you know, let's just take the one province. And yeah, this is going to be difficult because of the uh, the mountains and the rivers. Yeah, more difficult than I'd like to see. 
All right, so we are sinking all these convoys through here as well. These are all freight convoys. So yeah, we'll be able to do the invasion here once the, the Marines get over there, and they should definitely be successful when you send that many troops at them. Uh, and then uh, after that, we'd do the, the Pakistan War and the Australian War. I guess you'd do Pakistan and Saudi Arabia at the same time and then do the Australian War. Yeah, I suppose that's how we'll do it uh, next episode. Let's just go through here and see all the stuff we sunk. There's a lot of convoys. Again, mostly trade convoys. All right, excellent. So we'll do Burma next episode. Should go pretty smooth. Uh, I mean, we got this tank here cut off, so that's obviously not good. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can't win here. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, finish up the Burma invasion. That shouldn't be too difficult now that we have these Marines that can do it. We got a lot more troops along here as well. Should go fairly smoothly. Uh, could go after Siam as well. Kind of feel like we're stretching this out a bit, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll be able to finish it next episode if we go Aden and Siam. Because we already got Burma, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia, and Australia, and, and New Zealand. Uh, so we got to do New Zealand, too. So I feel like we're stretching it out too much if we uh, keep adding countries here. Which, of course, none of this is really all that necessary outside of the, the Commonwealth. Those are the only ones I really wanted to, to take out. Uh, which Saudi Arabia is, does not qualify for that, so we're already doing one that is unnecessary. So I don't know if we need to keep on adding new ones in, honestly. I don't even know how many people are still interested in this series, given that, you know, we've defeated all the major powers. We're just kind of wrapping up little ones. Typically, people stop watching at that point, so I'd have to see how the uh, last video did. Uh, but yeah, I assume that people don't want to watch me keep wrapping up little tiny countries uh, for, two, you know, one or two more videos. So... We'll probably just finish up the, the countries that we're currently working on. Also, Siam does have a lot of troops, as you can see here. They're fairly easy to defeat, of course, but because, uh, I mean, you can cut off a ton of troops down here. I mean, they're already short on supply. And we, we also have troops that are already lined up here. I mean, it, it might be easy. I don't know. We'll see how quickly the other invasions go, but I don't think we're going to add any more, guys. Probably just Australia, New Zealand, and Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia. And then we'll be uh, finished with the series. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.